What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. So today I'm going to be taking on the Grand Hero Battle against Navar and uh, he has returned with his Infernal difficulty. He didn't have this before and I'm going to be using this team to beat his map on the Infernal difficulty. The only unit who's uh, not free to play in this video is going to be this Gordon, a 4-star Gordon. And you can just replace him with any kind of Brave Bow Archer as long as they've got 36 attack which is not really hard to get. Even if you've got a 5-star Archer with just standard Brave Bow, they're going to be able to reach that attack stat pretty easily. And you need to give him Breath of Life 1 Sacred Seal. And all of these units are vanilla, which means that no Skinner's mechanic has been used on them. And this is Olivia. I've got Fearm. Fearm absolutely dominates this map. And uh, we've got Arthur. So let's begin the Infernal Difficulty. And like I said, you can replace that Garden with any kind of Archer who's got Brave Bow. The Garden I'm using right now is completely neutral IVs. They really need to make Garden a free to play unit because he's honestly a great archer because of his brave bow and attack plus 3 um, slot is skilled. Alright, so here we have got Navar and this time he's got uh, Warding Stance and uh, Desperation. Slaying Edge of course, he does not have that. By default he has Killing Edge plus and then we have got uh, this Axe Fighter with uh, Death Blow, Obstruct and Hammer plus. So, armor units are definitely going to take quite a lot with that. And we have got this Thief. This one is pretty weak because of his uh, Rogue Dagger Plus, Armor Blow. He does not really pack a punch, but this guy um, does pack a punch because of his Death Blow and Silver Dagger Plus. And he also has Poison Strike. And we have got this Cleric who's super annoying to take out because of her bulk. And she's got Drive Res. And uh, she also has Physic Plus, uh, which can be quite annoying. And we have got blue mana keys. so this is the first time we are facing a generic uh, dragon in this kind of Grand Hero Battle format. So she has got uh, Fury and Shield Pulse with Sacred Cowl. And uh, she's relatively easy to take out with any kind of green unit. So let's begin this map. And all you need to do is just keep Fiorm here and she'll be able to deal with these uh, thieves pretty easily. You got it. So Fiorm does dominate this map quite a lot. And I'll put my units like this. So they're gonna get boosted and the thief is gonna be attacking the arm. She of course has her ice mirror up because of shield pulse. I'm pretty sure a quick repose the arm will also be able to do that. Um, actually she might get taken out on this uh, attack from this thief. Yeah because of ice mirror we're gonna be able to just knock him out in a single hit and that uh, Axe Fighter is going to heal up this thief for a bit. So now we have got this blue mana heat coming here. And it's pretty good because we can just uh, have Arthur here. And the AI is not smart enough to move back the mana heat and move in Navar to attack Arthur. So Fiorm is pretty low but uh, Gordon is able to take out this uh, thief pretty easily after the Hone Attack buff from Olivia. So let's take him out. Down he goes, and yes. we can keep our Fiorm right here, and wait. And if you follow this guy, then you're gonna be able to do that infantry quest as well, um, which has come with this Grand Hero Battle. That's something uh, new which they have introduced, which is the infantry quest. I guess they are really tired of people using Horse Emblem um, on these Grand Hero Battle maps. You probably can see uh, which okay. kinds of units people are using most on these um, Grand Hero Battles. So we can just put Fearm here. And like I said, the AI is not smart enough to move him here and have this Axe Fighter attack my free arm. And you do not want to attack him because he's got his Blazing Wind. And that is at one cooldown. So if you attack him, then he's going to retaliate yeah. back with a pretty big hit um, in his own face. So let's wait and... It's actually pretty cool how we can have these enemies. I wonder when they'll introduce beast units because beast units have been pretty important uh, class of units in Fire Emblem games. So we can take out this blue mana key with Arthur. And he was able to deal with her pretty easily. 
thanks to his Emerald Axe Order, Plus, please. and we can take out Navar, and we can take him out exactly with V Arm. And now I can move my Olivia over here and use Dance on Arthur. And this. Arthur can come here and uh, have Garden attack this Axe Fighter for some damage. So Olivia can just tank the hits and Breath of Life does heal her up. This is a completely neutral Olivia. If you do have a minus defense or a minus HP Olivia, then just run HP plus 3 or defense plus 3 Sacred Seal. So let's attack this Axe Fighter with Garden. And uh, he does have that defense buff from this healer's special. Okay. So we can use dance on Gordon okay. once again and attack this Axe Fighter and heal up Olivia. So she can take on another hit from this Axe Fighter. And now he is not going to be having the defense from that healer's special. So we're going to be able to take him out this turn, which is you pretty good. So we do 20 damage. He up Olivia right. and we can use Dance right. and take him out. So like I said, you can just use any kind of Rainbow uh, Archer and you'll be good. Onward. So let's move Arthur here and let's just wait. This Infernal map is actually one of the easiest ones so far um, we have had. Now, Var's Lunatic map was known to be pretty easy uh, when it first came out. And even the Infernal one is pretty easy. Okay, okay. so let's attack uh, sure. this Cleric with all our might. Do that. Uh, okay, so she barely lives. Let's do this. So we'll have to retreat. Yes. She's gonna be doing 9 damage to Olivia, but it's fine. Uh, next turn, we can just take her out with V Arm and Olivia Orders, pretty easily. I'm actually okay. gonna dance to V Arm so that we can see that flip at the end. And down she goes. So, that was the Infernal difficulty map. It's relatively easy. And now let's get on to the quests which have come with this Grand Jury Battle. So you have to defeat the enemy Navar with your own and you also have to use Alphonse to defeat him. So I'm gonna be doing the Navar quest first and it's actually pretty easy. This is my own. So I'm gonna be using this team of uh, Navar, Fiorm, Olivia and Riss. Riss does not really matter, you can just use any kind of fourth unit. So as you guys saw, Fiorm was able to dominate units on the Infernal Difficulty and she can do it even better um, on the Lunatic Difficulty as you guys will see. And soften up the opposing Novar for your own Novar and for your Alphonse. So she's definitely very very useful for this Grand Hero Battle. And pretty much everyone has got Fiorm because she's a guaranteed free to play unit that everyone gets as a 5 star unit. Unless you of course send her home or just fought her off. I know some people have fought her off for her attack defense bond. But uh, yeah, so here he comes. Let's move our own Navar back. And we can move Olivia here and put Fiorm here. Heal her up for a bit with Riz. The healing is not really necessary, but it always helps. So he's going to be attacking us for absolutely no damage. And now he has been softened up. And thanks to attack defense bond, we exactly take him out. And this axe fighter is going to be healing up Malvar. If she's near an ally, then she's going to be using her attack defense bond. And that's going to result in a KO on Navar, which is of course not what we want. So that's why I'm going to just move back my wrist and attack Navar with my Fearm. To soften him up even more. And then we can just finish him off and complete the quest. So this method is pretty good for softening up the enemy Novar to easily complete the quest. You do not really have to go into Lunatic Chain Challenges to find the opposing Novar or do anything like that for that matter. Um, so yeah. Axe Fighter is going to be charging up his special. 
this area and effect special. All right. And we can just take him out with this. And once again have our special charged up for that uh, cleric. So okay. let's use dance and Done. let's finish her off. You can do the same thing for Alphonse as well and it's gonna work out. I've got a 5 star Alphonse but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be working out for your 4 star Alphonse as well. I've given him all of the things which he has as a 4 star unit like Silver Swords per attack 2. And uh, yes. let's put Fionn once again in the range of these dagger units. Yes. And let's wait with Alphonse and uh, Fionn's default set alone does so much work on these maps. Now, for Arena, Ice Mirror isn't really good because it's pretty inconsistent. But for these kinds of uh, maps, Grand Hero Battle and Bound Hero Battles, her Ice Mirror is pretty useful because these enemies are inflated and their attack stat is above normal. So that's why they do more damage to her, especially the range units. They do more damage to her. She's able to do much more damage in return with Ice Mirror. So once again, we're gonna do the same thing and have her beacon, um, Navarre for our Alphonse. And if you're missing any kind of fire power with Alphonse, if you have got like a three star Alphonse or something like that, you can of course just run Sword Breaker on him and he's gonna be able to double Navarre and just take him out. So down goes this thief, and this is exactly gonna play out how it played out for um for my Navar thing. Okay. So now we can go in and take out Navar. Down he goes, and can you use dance and attack this guy? Um, actually, I'm gonna do that because he does not do any kind of damage back to us and he does not have any kind of special, so that's good. And Alphonse is much more bulky than Avar. My apologies. So, the next Ranger Battle we run that we're gonna be getting is actually gonna be on Lloyd. For some reason, we? we still haven't got a rerun for Zephiel, um, for Xander and Camus, of course. I would have liked if they had any yes. of those three, because we already have got a rerun for Lloyd, um, where he had an infernal map. As you say. So let's okay. have Fionn finish this off with a pretty good flip. And that is gonna be it. So that's how you can complete all of the quests and beat the map on the infernal difficulty. I know this map was pretty easy, but still, um, if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on any more Fire Emblem Heroes content that I'm gonna be uploading in future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.